Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Another brutal embarrassment for the USA, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points Memo. 22-year-old Australian baseball player Christopher Lane shot dead in Oklahoma last Friday for absolutely no reason at all. Mr. Lane, who played for East Central University, was out jogging when three thugs allegedly murdered him. They are 15-year-old James Edwards, 16-year-old Chancey Luna, and 17-year-old Michael Jones. Duncan Police Chief Danny Ford says the teenagers were all in trouble before, and on the day of the shooting, Edwards actually had a court appearance. Reaction to the horror is heartbreaking. He's such an amazing person, and I'm going to miss him forever. But... Um... I'm really glad that I got the four years with him. There wasn't anything he did or could have done. He, he was an athlete going for a jog like he would do, you know, five or six days a week in terms of his training schedule. Um, so it, it's happened, it, it's wrong, and um, we, we just try and, and deal with it the best we can. And in Australia, there is deep anger against America. People thinking of going to the USA on business or tourist trips should think carefully about it, given the statistical fact you are 15 times more likely to be shot dead in the USA than in Australia per capita per million people. And to those uh, friends of ours in Australia, we would say to you, this is not Duncan, Oklahoma. I'm going to do everything that I can to ensure that we see these three thugs pay for what they did to Christopher Lane. Now, based upon known evidence, James Edwards could be the instigator. Information about Edwards on social media indicates he may be affiliated with the Crips gang, that he wanted to be a rapper, and that he had appeared on a website posing with a rifle. The father of the teen reacted this way. I feel that he doesn't really matter. It, you know, he doesn't, that he doesn't really understand it at all. He, don't know, he really doesn't understand how serious it is. Uh, I find that hard to believe, but police say Edwards was dancing and joking after he was arrested. His sister blamed it on the community. I would like for people to know in this community that if we would reach out to the youth and do more things with them, this stuff could be prevented. Other reaction? Not much. The NAACP is silent. Civil rights industry largely silent. Some liberals blaming America's lack of gun control. Fox News White House correspondent Ed Henry got this reaction from President Obama's spokesman. Yeah, we heard about Trayvon Martin here and in the Rose Garden. Why hasn't he spoken out on this, in this case? He well, there was a judicial proceeding. There was one in the Trayvon Martin case. He spoke out extensively on that one. Mm -hmm. Well, I... I'm not sure that there's some people in this room I don't think who would agree with you that the president spoke out extensively on it. Talking Points believes there is a destructive culture in this country. It is apparent that if convicted, the three boys have no regard for human life. Yet, they had plenty of regard for the social media, for rap, for Xbox. The mother of Chancey Luna says the boy was playing that video game shortly before the murder occurred. There will come a point in America when honest people will begin to see this problem for what it is, a cultural collapse among some very distinct groups. A violent subculture is now in place, fueled by derelict parents, a barbaric media, and apathy on the part of many politicians. The incredible violence taking place in some Chicago neighborhoods, as well as mindless murders all over the country, prove this point. And until we acknowledge, acknowledge the source of the chaos, we will not be able to solve the problem.